Okay, so this is the first time uh, where we can return to the Nexus and chat with the Maiden in Black. Call it Watch and Learn. That, that way, if you succeed, it's a good example, and if you fail, it's not what what not to do, Norvan, you're a genius! <gasps> Forgot you get this little, um... You get this little cutscene when you come back. Welcome back. Here she is. So she hasn't been around until now. The monumental Look at my character, she's so glake it. <laughs> Hi, Jinj! It does kill him, it's the 19th, it's when the PS5 releases. Well, sorry, 12th if you're from the USA and other countries, 19th if you're from the UK, if you're unfortunate enough to be from the UK. <laughs> oh no, scary alerts! No! <laughs> Volka, thank you for the 69! Scare alerts are meant to be off. <laughs> Welcome to Demon Souls Watch and Learn. <laughs> How not to stream. <laughs> She's quite short. She's not that tall. Monumental will explain the nexus to thee. Right, yeah, the nexus is flipping mental. Um, but you do actually get it all explained to you a lot better than you do in, say, Bloodborne. Bloodborne, obviously, is what I would compare this to the most because you have the kind of hunter's dream hub. You have the little stones that you can teleport from, etc., etc. Um, they've got like similar themes, but like in Bloodborne, you never really find out like what the hunter's dream is. You just kind of assume like obviously it's a nightmare. Or maybe you do find out and I just haven't bothered to find it. But with this, you literally learn like the nexus, what the nexus is, it like holds souls in that. Um, and you go up here, which took me flipping forever to find on my first playthrough. Literally just keep going up the stairs. Hopefully this all is uh, a little bit clearer in the remake. <clears throat> I thought you were talking about me being short. No, me! <laughs> no, I meant the maiden. <laughs> Bearer of the curse. Seek, seek less. That's Dark Souls 2. That's Dark Souls 2. Um, wait, and then you can keep going up. Up here is the PvP area, which is really cool. I'm just going to take a very quick look at this because it's uh, obviously it's not used anymore. That's a wall. Um, but back when there was actual PvP and... Um, there are actually PvE records here too. Wait! Did they just not like- Oh. Oh. I think it's- they've closed it off. That Usually you could go through there and there were lots of little um, tombstones and they all had like records on them. Uh, PvP denied and they were like, oh, this player has the most kills or this player has collected the most souls ever and they're all like, oh, like nine, 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 nine. Oh, and it was really cool. But I guess they closed it because no more online. But that's what was up there, and I'm really hoping that is up there in the remake. So that's where it is up there. That's how you find the records. Um, but over here, uh, all around here, you can see all these heckin' dead children. All these little bald dead children. Um, and all their candles are out because they're all dead. But then over here, there is one, as you can notice. Again, on my first playthrough, this took me way too long to find him, but there he is, right there. We have long awaited <sighs> you, slayer of demons. I am one of the monumentals. We preserve the fabric. It's heckin' Ang from Avatar. There is something thou needest to know. Once, we too, a scourge of demons <laughs> faced. Oh, here we go, you get another cutscene. It's so generous with the lore. Past. Under a benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul arts. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the old one. Across the land seeped a colorless deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the old one back to his slumber. Yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and half the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained. Take note here, that one on the end with six precious arch stones. is broken in this version. But hopefully we get it in the remake. Yet diligent land. 
one to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned soul. One to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadowmen. And the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed at nodes across the earth. We contained the old one inside this nexus and banned the soul arts. Finally, we became monumental, half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. Ah, fear, that sucks. I haven't really watched any, like, trailer analysis on it. I was really, really hoping they might have given us this, like, secret sixth world. By the power of the monumentals, the four sealed archstones have been released. Obviously, the fifth we've already been to, but now we can go to anyone we want, which I really, really like. Like, obviously, that's a staple of, uh, like, Dark Souls 1. Technically, you can go, like, three or four even different ways right from the beginning. But there's always a sort of like easiest path to take and I'm gonna tell you guys what I think is the easiest path. Um, it's obviously all gonna change depending on what type of build you have, like for example like World 4 if you have a bow is gonna be a lot easier than if you're a pure melee character, but I digress. Right, so. Now it is your turn. Who is that? I have no idea who that is. You must lull the old one <laughs> back to its slumber and seal it away for all eternity. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to accept this mission? I go on then. Yes. If you say no, I'm pretty sure he just goes, oh, alright then. Uh, if you kill him, if you try and kill him, he laughs at you. I don't know if you guys want to see that. Um, but it doesn't break the game, which is quite fun. Yes. We are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth. Stealth Archer is the, honestly the best build in this game. In my opinion, the best build. Without demons and I will show you. Its souls, <laughs> will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom? Right, so, uh, one thing I did forget, that technically the Nexus is what literally, like, binds the old one. Uh, which is the, I guess, the sort of final uh, aim of this game. Old one's woken up again, and we need to gather enough powerful souls to be able to lull it back to slumber, basically. But in the process of gathering all these souls, will we be at risk of losing our own humanity? Ooh. Um, weapon broke. <laughs> you can kill him. We neutralized the old one. Take my word for it. He laughs at you, I'm sure. <laughs> I broke my sword! <laughs> Those kids are solid! I'm pretty sure you can kill him. Or maybe it's the maiden in black that laughs at you. Either way. Man's memory of history is our short. Oh, the narrator! Uh, it's a wee boy. The monumentals perished. Broke my weapon. And the short sighted King Alant once again. Aroused the old one. Aroused! He's important, King Alant. He's important. Like I mentioned before, Ostrava, may he rest in peace, my bad, uh, is King Alant's son. Um, okay, so he's like, right, what you gotta do, go and collect some demon souls. And then unarouse the old one, basically. Basically. Uh, what killed the other monumentals? The passage of time, I guess. Maybe exertion? Possibly exertion, the, the, the pressure of, uh, we're gonna die. I'm gonna explain why. That was a good jump. <laughs> uh, yeah, the pressure of like keeping the nexus sort of going, I'm assuming, exertion, yeah. 
Uh, we need to pay the blacksmith now to fix my weapon before we spend these souls. Basically, the way this game works, it's got a, a mechanic called tendency in it. You have a character tendency and world tendency. This is your world tendency and in the middle that's your character. So, um, the, everyone's neutral apart from Boletarian Palace, which was world one, which we've put that into the light a little bit because of, um, killing the first boss. So every time you kill a boss, or you help another player kill a boss, which is not possible in the PS3 version, uh, that world takes a step towards the light. Every time you die in a world as a human, so obviously you've got human form um, and you've got spirit form, we're a spirit at the minute, like Hollow in Dark Souls. Every time you die, you push your world towards black tendency. Uh, oh, alien isolation, wow. <laughs> I'm brave, how dare you, slander, yeah. <laughs> right, this is our mission, should we choose to accept it? And I do. So, blue eye stone, that used to be used- <gasps> Dual shock, please! <gasps> uh, blue one was for co-op, uh, white one was- Oh, hang on, the white one's also for co-op, isn't it? Ice stones temporarily connect the diffused worlds. Should you lose your physical form, remember the ice stone. So. Maiden controls in human souls. This power allows her to aid those who slay demons. So basically that's saying she helps you level up. You go out in the world, collect souls, go to the maiden. She'll help you level up. Um, so the way tendency works is if you're going for a really powerful weapon or if you're going for platinum, a lot of items are linked to world tendency. When a world is in pure white tendency, there will be a hidden path somewhere that you can't see uh, normally. Like you can't see it in neutral tendency. You can only see it in pure white uh, that will lead to a ring or a weapon or something that you need for the platinum, basically. Um, if you push it into pure black tendency, you start to get red phantoms showing up. Um, you get more souls, stuff hits harder. Like it's more of a challenge. Which sucks because it does what Dark Souls 2 does. Well, Dark Souls 2 does what this does. And the more you die, the more it punishes you. <laughs> but when you get to pure black, these extra mini bosses appear. They're not that difficult. I guess you could call them... They're not mini bosses at all, but I suppose they are. And they drop special souls. And those souls can be... Uh, I'm pretty... Oh, I've actually forgotten what they're used for. Grey Demon Soul. I'm pretty sure they're used to make a weapon. It's You need it for the platinum. I remember that. Um... So yeah, killing myself is a good thing there, Irish, because I want to go for pure white tendency uh, rather than pure black. So the way you would do it in this PS3 offline version is you'd need to, first of all, push to pure white um, through killing the bosses, do your stuff, and then go in as a human, die like seven times or something um, as a human, and then it'll go to pure black. And then you're done with that world. So you have to do, you have to literally follow a guide to get this like platinum. It took me flipping forever. I had to like restart my game basically. Um, because you can't, if you die once as a human on your way to pure white, then you'll never get pure white because there's no online. <laughs> and at the time when I was doing this platinum, I didn't, there was no one playing online. I couldn't do it if I wanted to because it was dead. But yeah, so that's why I've killed myself there just because we'll, We'll try and avoid dying in human form until we want to be. It's really fun when you get to a point where you're like, now I have to die on purpose here. <laughs> Seven times. Or something like that. Some of my information might be like slightly incorrect, but seven, I'm pretty sure it's seven. Like elite mobs. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're not hard. They sit and do nothing. They don't attack you. <laughs> they're just big heck and blobby mans. Uh, oh, the gray demon soul can be used to ascend... A battle axe into a dozer axe. Dozer? The dozer flipping upgrade path? I knew there was a reason. You're thinking of colorless. Oh, colorless. Yes, the ones from the primeval. Yes, from Pure Black Tendency. What are they used for again, Johnny? Yes, that's it though. Primeval demons. I played this in a long time ago, so you can forgive me if some of my information is incorrect. Like, that's why I'm not like saying this is a tutorial. I'm just like. Hints and tips. <laughs> uh, so what am I gonna level up? Uh, probably dexterity. Oh, sugar. Perhaps my, Perhaps my opinion of you is wrong. Give me another chance. I have always been here Dark Souls 2 is a good game, Johnny. My souls aren't going up. Refresh the page. I will be here Remember me doing smell mm Hmm. 
I will be here when he wakes again. But he's already heckin' awake, mate. The colorless fog is back. Yes, soul power, yes. So after all, <sighs> Wife would not like me. Pez oh, loves the smell of demon, right? Demon I loved your going live thing the other day. You were like, there's a blue one. The blue one is so much worse. <laughs> We've not even hit anything yet. We've just been like, do you know what I really don't like about demon souls? This is how you level up. I hate it. I hate it. You do it a level at a time. Uh, we actually need more strength. Um, I think 16. I really want to wield this shield because this shield is a flipping game breaker. Uh, it needs 22. Okay, heck that. 22. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, my wooden shield at the minute is blocking 80%. Oh my god, 22? That's a lot of strength. I didn't know I would be... Didn't know I'd be investing that much strength, but you know what? I really recommend using this shield, so. So we got 13 so far. Nine to go. Let's see. So the world might be bended. Let's, uh, oh god, do I have enough souls to... This is Baldwin. He's got a twin slash normal brother. Um, Ed, who is not doing too good in the skincare department. They're kind of slowly turning into um, like rocky men, basically. We'll see some rocky men shortly. <laughs> They're turning into boxers. He can repair your equipment and it costs 44 more souls than I have. Damn. No interest. I can tell you, you're not gonna last long here. I really like Baldwin because he's very sassy. Uh, let's do 2-1, uh, which is, we'll go say hi to Ed. Um, but first, let's see if I've got a soul just to do my... Sorry, when I say that this is like comfy edition, I mean that I take forever to do anything. This is taking us right up to November 18th, baby. Uh, hairpin. That belongs to my daughter. Yeah. Then she didn't make it after all. <laughs> no, she, she died. Why am I laughing? May she rest in peace. Oh, so we yeah, found that hairpin in uh, the palace. Would you mind giving up that hairpin? I'd like to have it in memory of my daughter. He's so polite. You actually have the option not to give it to him. But why would you ever pick it? I respect you, Johnny. You do. You're a saint. She didn't make Thank it, you. lol. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ooh, exactly as no rush. If this is your first time it's in the channel and you're lurking and you're enjoying, this is that. thanks. Um, I like to chat pitch a quite a lot. To say, but I found it one Not day, a speedrunner. Discarded on the main road. But it seems to possess a strange power. He gives anyway, us. You, you should have it. It will be happier in your hands. He gives us the ring of Herculean strength, which got turned into Havel's ring. Boom. So carry weight is a thing in this game and not just like personal what you're wearing carry weight, but also what you're carrying carry weight. And it sucks. It's the one thing that I really hope they remove. In the remake, Grey Rat and Loretta mm -hmm, from Dark Souls 3. It's a very, very similar uh, kind of thing where he's like, oh, have you seen my pal? And then you go and you find our heckin' dad come back and he's sad. Unfortunately, though, no, just um, Stockpile Thomas is not much of an adventurer, so he doesn't go off and like take his grief elsewhere like Grey Rat does, but um, he just sits there doing his job, sitting in the Nexus all safe and stuff. Um, Let's repair this. Falcon. Can't believe that broke. <laughs> uh, right. So it's time to go and do two one. If you start as a mage character or a spell sword directly across from me, there is a really good weapon in that level, but it's a much harder level. So I'm gonna recommend Stonefang Tunnel next. Stonefang Tunnel. City of the Butterworths, keepers of the huge tunnel. Most of the stubborn evac excav ex excavators who supported the soldiers of Bolitania had their souls taken. Lacking their own will, they mindlessly continue working. They put the Sega Saturn box covered in on the Genesis collection, lol. Ha, <laughs> lol. <laughs> uh, the first thing I'm gonna try and do 
is try and get this crystal lizard up here. Crystal lizards are a great pain in this game. They only spawn a set number of times. Um, and if you miss your chance... You can't just reload. You can't just reload. Got him! Thank God. Some weapons are so bad at getting them. But yeah, if you miss these guys, if they run off, if they burrow, um, you have like, I think it's twice that you can refresh um, and then they just don't spawn. Uh, it's really important to try and get them because you're, uh, a lot of stones in that are ridiculously hard to farm and getting them from the crystal lizards is a really good way to get them. And you need to, of course, upgrade every weapon down every upgrade path to get the platinum. Uh, so this one gave us eight shards of a hard stone, which is great because hard stone just equip it, it upgrades most like normal weapons to plus six, which is when they turn into a different weapon. Unknown hero's soul just died just here in the corner. This was probably his cart that I've destroyed. I'm terrible. Uh, so we can't go this way yet. I mean, you could you roll under there? We don't want to. Um, but that, if you can hear, that's where Ed is down there. Uh, there's a filthy man here. <gasps> it's Johnny! Actually, can we get like a close up? <laughs> is. <c> <laughs> His name is the filthy Hello man. There. Souls. Souls. I trade fine goods for souls. I trade for souls. Filthy man, I wasn't lying. Uh, so he sells grass, uh, grindstones, which are way overpriced in my opinion. Uh, hardstone, sharpstone, pickaxe. Yeah, not really in the market for any of this. Our little town. Hey, listen. <laughs> Reaper, thank you for the follow. It's a nice wee place. Hey, Bunster. All those lizard-eyed townsfolk are busy tinkering with stone and don't bother with old men like myself makes life rather easy for me i can get away with anything <laughs> thank you lord for this golden opportunity <laughs> so the whole thing about this world is it used to be like i guess like basically newcastle big coal trade but of course with the fog and everyone going a bit mental you agree? Uh, that's gone to heck uh, so everyone's gone essentially hollow lost their mind they've got the stone skin these rocks right so all the workers are here chilling out they are not weak to slash damage but they are weak to being stabbed in the back now backstabs in demon souls are very very generous so you want to just stab them in the back but as you can see there with my 10 heckin damage uh you really don't want to be hitting them with a sword i don't really have much option um because it's just gonna wear <laughs> yeah it's just gonna wear down my weapon heckin love a bit of ragdoll uh careful though these ones with the punching aren't so bad but the ones that have pickaxes hit like a truck like, so be careful. I'm also weak to backstabbing. <gasps> Me too. Oh my god. <sighs> These guys are pretty chunky. Not so much. If you have magic, um, they go down in like one magic hit, which is pretty cool. See, see what I mean about how generous the backstabs were? I was nowhere near his behind. Uh, yeah, they're just so high in defense because they've got essentially like stone skin. Wow, he's doing some kind of heckin'. Oh, I've ruined it, haven't I? Ruiner? I guess it must have something to do with being allergic to iron when introduced directly into my lungs. That must be it! <laughs> that must be it. Right, speaking of animals, heckin' careful here. No, not the big slug. Okay. So, uh, yeah, the big slug is the final boss. Nope, only dogs. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, you can have cats and dogs, man. Why am I trying to parry his fists? Right, we got dogs. 
We got dogs. Oh lord, they're coming. Now these dogs are weak to slash, which is great. I am also weak to dog, <laughs> which is not great. Cool. And it's honestly the best thing ever. Oh, the guys with the sacks, I should say. He has a sack. I don't know if you can, <gasps> I don't know if you can see. Um, they drop a lot of ore, so you want to make sure you loot them. Are you going to come out or are you just going to... No. The baby. <laughs> She's cosplaying the Pixar lamp. Yeah. Oh, I blocked that. Yes, we got the backstab. Hey, hey, thanks for the follow, red eyes. Uh, love another backstab if pops. <gasps> he does combustion as well as fireballs. Like, it's not. Wait, he's bleeding! I got him to bleed! <laughs> we'll just wait, I'm slowly dying. <laughs> and he's both right and left handed. Thirteen point seven. Thirteen. There we go. Finally, he chonky. He's protecting his booty. <laughs> he protect. <laughs> uh, there are no traps in here. Just some hard stone. Uh, so you've got like shards, chunks, and slabs. I think the big ones are. And you need all of them, and they weigh a lot, and they. They weigh, they weigh down your bags and you have to go back to the Nexus and drop them off otherwise you can't pick up anything new and it sucks, it's the worst thing ever. What? I need you to come out here so I can backstab you. I don't have anything I can throw at him, do I? Just this one's a pain because I can't get behind him. Excuse me. Um, no, I used all of my thingamajobbers on the first boss but I could use some turpentine. I mean, oh, actually, they freak out when they go on fire, but, uh, still take no damage. <laughs> oh my god, the damage! Bloody hell, did you see how hard he hit me? Agnew! Thank you for the host! Flurp. I hate fighting in corridors because I just want to stab the booty. Well my turpentine ran out which means I'm doing 10 damage again. <sighs> but yeah, don't be afraid to just run away. Okay, I think we got everyone out here. Uh, there's nothing on this side but I'm sure there is something on the other side. Uh, always be careful with corners. Heck in third person game, bass game, just peek around the corner. Uh, just always assume there's something waiting. Uh, pickaxe. I don't know if the pickaxe is any good. It's just good in the hands of these miners. Um, no, 80 damage. Quality, quality stats, scaling. It's not particularly good scaling. Uh, pickaxe used by excavators for mining. Wasn't originally meant for combat, but the hard protrusion can be used like a rapier. A local specialty of the stone fang. So, like, obviously we found this on the corpse of... Someone who died before they could go truly mental, I guess. But then all of his pals went mental. And now they're trying to kill me. <laughs> Emotes, sub badge, add free view and eternal happiness. Lovely things, lovely people get, lovely things. <gasps> Flirt, it's the left. You're meant to stick to the left. I'm a pleb. I'm a pleb. There's one that you just have to run real fast and there's another one you have to stick to the left. That's the one you have to stick to the left. The one on the right hand side you just have to run. Well, and this takes us back down here. <sighs> right. He let me cross! He's so kind! Oh. <gasps> Not kind enough to get me backstabbed though. Right, I think I'm going to nope out here, possibly. Uh, I'm 
gonna end up rolling off the edge. It's not gonna kill me. Fall damage in this is really kind. Ah, balls. Right, so this guy had a sack. Let's see what he's got. He's got clear stone. And I was a way to get hit in the bum. And I did get hit in the bum. Get me behind. Give me the B. Give me the B. Give me the boo. Give me the T. Give me the. <laughs> Give me the fist, apparently. Great. Cool. Wholesome. Literally. <clears throat> would you guys like to show. Would you guys like me to show you uh, a cheat? Clever use of game mechanics for this game. Or do you want me to play it all legit? Yeah, I like playing legit, but there is a really easy uh, cheese in this game. Really easy, like, duplicating items cheat. I want the booty. Thank you. Eight. There we go. Oh, that was a weird heck it. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, another unknown soldier soul. Soldier soul. Soldier soul up in it. Oh, so that guy's chilling there. I really want to get that shiny though. Watch me back it. Watch me. Oh. Uh, let's heal up. I got plenty grass. Not trying to take a stream at all. Yes, I'm trying again. You're fine. You're good, T. You're fine. I care. I care about helping. Teach a man to fish and all that stuff. But can I convince you to fall? Missed my plunge, didn't I? But now we can get the backstab with ease. With ease. There we go. They're so chunky. <sighs> he's bleeding and he's dead. Great. Cool. He dropped us a full moon grass and 500 souls. Very good. Is it the name of the boss? I was just like, no. Well, I got my soul. <gasps> oh, wait, my emotes. Wait, what? Oh, my emotes. The final boss took me 38 attempts. Not that you were counting, UJ. Proud of you. 38 attempts and you kept going. Well done. God, that pissed me off playing. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy your lovely things. Your sub badge now has tattoos, which is pretty cool, eh? Eh. Eh. <laughs> but Chess, I've been here the whole time. Which one? Oh. Oh yeah, we have these little fire lizards. I feel like these are like big boy versions of the crystal lizards. They hurt to touch. Um, they're not so tough. Shard of Meltstone. That's not for fire weapons. That must be for... I forget all the names of the weapon upgrades. There's so many. There's like 10 of them. Good, good. Yeah, I'm really enjoying Demon Souls. It's going really slowly, but like, I'm having a great time. Find some more Half Moon Grass. We're having a comfy run, basically, where I'm just taking my time trying not to die. So, just like normal, man. Um, but yeah, I'm just enjoying it. And we're going over like lore and stuff. And I'm giving little hints and tips. So, like here... Um, I don't think they drop. Do they drop? Yeah, they do drop. Yeah, they- oh, all of them drop. Cool. I had in my head they didn't. <laughs> That's okay. I don't have to be special. It's fine. Oh, he fell. Oh. Right, well, I just want that shiny. Um. Right, that does a lot of damage. Ooh, hey, Jewels. Uh, Catlo, I'm gonna do the- I'm gonna do the Vaporeon in just a sec. Can't pause this. Is a Souls game. Oh, if they lunge at you and miss, they fall on their bellies! Yep. Right, we're gonna try and bait them and see if that's easier. Lunge at me. So he does like a big lunge. Can't be too far away, otherwise he doesn't do it. Lunge at me. He's not doing it anymore. Ah! But one of them fell on his back and that was well cute. It was just like struggling like a turtle. Where'd you get the Pokemon plushies? These these ones are from Build-A-Bear. Pac-Man. Um, they're not cheap, but they're so good. They're such good quality. They're so squishy. And then that one has a voice box in it. I have a... Uh, I have Vaporeon, Eevee, Pikachu, uh, Charmander and Bulbasaur. Uh, those of you who are coming to Demon Souls from the first time after having played Dark Souls might think, I can make it over there. No, you can't. 
No, you really can't. Lava literally one shots you, like like instantly. No, you can't. don't do it. Don't do it. You need to just go up. Go over here. <laughs> also, don't go down there either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you need to go to these guys with the pokey bum sticks first. Try to get them. <gasps> oh god. I don't want two of you. But it looks so tasty. The floor is pizza. No. I mean, you can if you want, but you will die. Oh god. This reminds me of the way I played Mortal Shell. Very cowardly. <laughs> I just want one of you to reset if that's possible. Can I get a back up? Back up! Yes! <laughs> that floor is made of marshmallows and happiness. Well, Pyro, you would know. You would know. <laughs> it's a spicy pizza. Go on then, go on then guys, go on then. You let me know how it works out for you, okay? I'm having a lovely time. Thank you for hanging out with me, this lovely, boring lockdown. I hope I'm making it decidedly less boring for you. It's been a cracking year. Uh, I was thinking about this actually. The, only, the, the pretty much only good things that have happened this year have all been work related for me. <laughs> I didn't get to go on any of my good trips. But I tell you what, I met a ton of cracking people through Twitch and I'm very grateful for that and I'm grateful for every single one of you. We're getting sappy now. We're getting sappy. You definitely do not want to go through the fog, you want to go through the logs. No fogs, only logs. Hello Alex. I mean I own it on PS4 and Switch but it's so boring solo, you think? Oh I love Diablo. <gasps> oh god I saw that come in. Um, can we get back steps maybe? They are hardy, but they don't have a lot of poise, thankfully. Which means that my attack often interrupts their attack. So you can um, you can experiment. You can attack quite confidently if you know that your attack is going to break their poise. Because it means that you don't have to like worry about... You don't have to... So basically, right, most things, your attack is not going to stagger them. It's not going to interrupt them. You're going to hit them, but then they're going to hit you immediately after. But... Um, so in those instances, you want something to attack and then you attack. But in this case, I'm cool attacking first, if that makes sense. I should do Instagram stories more. Uh, so this guy gave us some hard and some sharps. Whoa, bloody hell. And this guy gave us a heckin' nine hearts. Sorry, I'm really burpy, sorry. Uh, down here, uh, I believe, Around here is where you would find the colourless demon, the extra demon member I was saying about pure black world tendency. It's around here. I want to say it's at the bottom of the lift. So there's a lift there. No, 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 it's not this lift. It must be... <gasps> no, so over there, you can just see it in the distance. Down there, bottom of that lift. That's where, once we get pure black, it's down there. We'll probably do that in the remake though. Um... Right, so you go down here, we can fix the lift for a nice shortcut. Is that dude's weapon a bag? Yes. <laughs> uh, gorilla, weapons do break. Yeah, they do. Um, they don't refresh when you go like, cause there's no resting at a bonfire in this game really. So the only way you can like repair them is to repair them at a blacksmith. It's not too expensive though. Boom. I actually missed this shiny down here, so we can get this right here. It's probably just grass. Oh no, it's a shard of clear stone. Clear stone, I want to say, is for magic, but I could be wrong. I, there's so many in this game. Hey, uh, so I think we'll go all the way. We'll go all the way down. Uh, 3D printing newbie. 3D printing is well cool. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. We have found ourselves in Blacksmith's Ed's, uh, his blacksmith, his smithy, I should say. Um, if you somehow manage to get here from the other side, I have no idea how you would actually do that. This is how you'd start up the, the lift. But here he is. Uh, we met his brother back in the Nexus. He's obviously, you can see he's, he's starting to turn into like this stony man, isn't it? He's so short. <laughs> mm. I haven't seen you around these parts. Bad. 
and he rained as well. You need a blacksmith. You can't rain all the time. If not, head straight for the door. You need a blacksmith. I do actually. I do. Let's repair. Yeah, it doesn't cost too much. So there's obviously like people give Dark Souls 2 a lot of like nonsense, but Dark Souls 2 did some things really well. Yeah, it introduced some really cool things like your weapons like repair themselves every time you rest at a bonfire. <gasps> Good that, isn't it? Dark Souls 2. Eh? Dark Souls 3 wouldn't have it if it weren't for Dark Souls 2, except it probably would. Never mind. Um <laughs> Stop hating on Dark Souls 2. <laughs> Uh, Ed is the better. Ed can do more. Ed can do uh, infusions and I don't think Baldwin can do infusions. By that I mean you can like, if you get a weapon to a certain stage uh, and get a special stone, you can make it do fire damage, heckin' holy damage, magic damage, etc. Sticky damage. We'll get to that. And did I ever tell you about the time that I beat Dark Souls 1 at SL1 mm -hmm. and with just a bow and with only sorceries and did I ever tell you about the time that I beat the first boss in Dark Souls 1 blindfolded? Second try. Did I ever tell you about that time? What else have I done? That's pretty much all I've done. That's all. <laughs> I don't really understand why there's a lever here. Maybe there's a way you can drop down to here. I don't see it though. Ed, I'd leave alive, all the Nexus would die. <gasps> Mephisto asked it of me. Oh bloody hell, you're one of those. You're one of those, cat. I bet you freed Yurt also. <laughs> nah, you hate Dark Souls. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> Probably because of the non-existent fall damage? No, but I don't think you could actually land on that bit, which is why I was confused, Nick. <gasps> UJ, I need to go breathe. It's all good, I understand. Like, you just, you just streamed, man. It's all good. I will see you in Discord. Uh, hey 3D! I wasn't lucky enough to catch up on my gaming. I work in a supermarket, so I've worked right through. You're welcome. <gasps> hey! It's good to meet you. Hey King! Oh, King Eden! Hi. You were still baby face- No, I was- no. I mean, by that I mean it's like I, I wasn't- my stream setup wasn't nearly as professional. Lamba? Lamba? Is that Labamba? Hello? Thank you for the bits. It might be Lamba. It might not be Lamba. What if it wasn't Lamba? What if one day it just wasn't Lamba? <gasps> Roll! Did I scare you? Lamba? <laughs> Milika! Say right back at you. I hope you're feeling good after your stream. Go get the sleeps. Go get the sleeps. Is it Lamba though? What if it's not Lamba? <sighs> Whoever you are, thank you for the bits! Uh, the voices are a lot harder though. I can't do male voices. Anyway, thank you, Fear. I appreciate that. I still haven't finished Danganronpa another episode, Ultra Despair Girls. Um, I want to, but it's just so different. Now, Mr. Mudge, not really, Spartacus. We were talking so long about uh, like the lore and like why we're here and what world tendency is and stuff like that. Did I stop in 4-1? I didn't actually. I forget where all the items are, Kat. Uh, is it the compound bow? I can't remember where it is. I should probably do my research for this playthrough to try and minimalize, to, to try and like give out the best tips, but um, <laughs> excuse, insert excuse here. I want to just get back to, I've totally spaced. How did I get here? Totally spaced. Oh my god. Wait, there's a crystal boy there. There's no plunging attacks in this game. Oh frick! Wait. No! <gasps> Wait! Oh! Oh! <laughs> so did I go... Oh, I went up there. That's where I went. Oh god, my pleb. This is the one, right? This is the one you want to just yeet. The one before with the fat jester. Stick to the left. This uh, little plank, just run. Uh, so you've got souls here. You've also got a great club, which is really good if you're pumping strength. <gasps> it's Link from Zelda, isn't it? <gasps> 
<laughs> oh, 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 oh! That is how it goes. See, this would be a great place to have a bow. Be a great place to have a bow. <laughs> I think there is another shortcut we can open up, though. Um, do I want to just yeet here? I'm sure there was a way around these guys. I think if you go this way, you need those glasses that just came out that have a button and you press it and the eyes light up. <gasps> so I look like an anime? Yeah. So here you go. If you go this way, you can drop down uh, here. That's that's it. Behind these guys. Much easier. You get a soul for your trouble and also you can get a heckin' uh, shield, which by a miracle I am able to pick up. Now what is the strength requirement? 18! Much more manageable. Um, I don't know if I need to... Do any of them have bags? I don't need to... I don't need to kill them. I don't need to. I can just escape with my life. <laughs> I could pull a sneaky on them, but I can't be bothered, really. It's 10 to 11. Can I just, just want to... Just want to make progress? Hello? Oh. Oh, I have my dagger equipped. Get that. <gasps> Feeling hot, hot, hot. Right, let's see if I can get you to fall on your belly. Yes! <laughs> oh god, this is death. This is death. I'm trapped. Right, no, never give up. Never surrender. Just eat all that grass. You got plenty of grass. Just eat it. Cool. Yeah, skill level equals zero. You can still win. You'll get a mentor. A healthy helperton. <gasps> Lamb, congrats on the 40k. The Warhammer points. Killing Pascals makes me sad. Well, Jay, you've just ruined that for me. Pascal from uh, Tangled. Sad face. Why'd you do that? Yeah, you just pick a partner. A partner. <gasps> By grab Thor's hammer, I shall avenge thee. Oh, that's that's how you get the um, that's how you get the shiny on two grindstones. Nice. So if we ever, I don't know if that repairs a weapon that's broken. If it gets to the point where it's broken, surely it does. Mm, because repair powder doesn't work if your weapon is broken. Mm, can't confirm. It's not like sore, it was just like a weird feeling. <gasps> That's how you get the shiny! By completely normal, natural progression. <laughs> that was not a very generous backstab, Demon Souls. What happened to your generous backstabs? Where did they go? There we go. <laughs> That's very generous, that one. What do you mean? I only played a few hours. What, 600 of them? Joshu. Sharp stone, clear stone, very good. Get all the stones if you can. Uh, it does get a bit dangerous, obviously, this level in particular, because you pick, excuse me, you pick up a lot of stones and your bags get mighty heavy. Uh, I see a really big turbo scot. Uh, that might... Oh, damn, I would get the wig, but that would require standing up. Um, I will I'll get to that in just a sec. So we've turned the water wheel on. It's washed away all the lava. Fantastic. It's very good. It's been a year since that metal straw booped you. Okay, Thrifty. That guy's posture is not great. He's been mining. Right, okay. Oh, hi, Glib! I'm gonna spank your arse, wee bollocks. Just like how you spanked my- Wait, what? Just like how your ma- You'd say your ma. Your ma is, a uh, that's Irish. <laughs> Just like how your ma spanked you with a wooden spoon. And with that, I'm out. Good night, my Scotty cousin. Good night, my Irish neighbour. <laughs> See you later, Irish. 25 spooky emotes. Uh, sub badge, add for viewing, eternal happiness, you know, standard things that you get with a sub, you know. Enjoy them! And uh, I think we can go uh, take on a boss, perhaps. I've hit the top and I've had to stop and that's what's been bothering me. Question mark? You want to be a man, man cub. So down here there used to be lava, so you want to come back here, get the sharp stones. And then there's a wee bit through here. Is there a thing in here? Yeah, there is. I always do a noob run in every single game. A noob run? Uh, <laughs> Fairy, did you just call me a noob? <laughs> you 
You're lucky I like you. <laughs> Who is Queen? Uh, well, let me tell you about Queen. Let me tell you about Queen, right? Queen of the Harpies, right? <laughs> Queen of the Harpies, she likes to pee on people. Queen of the Harpies, she wants to pee. Queen of the Harpies, she wants to pee on people. Queen of the Harpies, she likes to pee. <laughs> Nice. Are you the kind of person that would, um, sorry, completely different game. It's got a three in it. Uh, Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate three. I keep seeing it and I keep thinking, oh yeah, don't run in here, by the way. Don't run in here because they explode. You want to be careful. Um, K-dubs? That's what I thought, but it's not. It's a W Kitty. It's a very similar name. Know about how you beat Dark Souls with one hand. And Dark Souls 2, Ivy. And Dark Souls 2. You go back live. Start your stream back up and you tell people and Dark Souls 2. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I do random things like that for charity. Last year was Dark Souls 1, this year was Dark Souls 2. And it's all in jest. I'm not actually big headed. I know I'm actually trash. Don't worry. Don't worry. Wait, you have no bow. Spider's gonna eat you? Oh, I do spider uh, in melee anyway. 1am here. I'm dying. Oh god, of course. Ivy, go to sleep. Thank you so much for bringing your friends over. I will look after them for the next five minutes or so. <laughs> Have a good sleep, beautiful. Uh, there's a bit up here uh, where you want to sort of take this slow. Right here, this guy up there throws a boulder. Boom. And then he jumps down. But if you're running, like if you're sprinting, the boulder will hit you. So careful. Learn from experience or just take my tip. Take it. Just take my tips. Yeah. Phrasing? What? No, I meant what I said. Take it. Mm, so over here is the spider. Obviously, spider warning. Yeah, yeah, no armor spider. I'm quite quite confident with, I would say. I don't actually plan on doing it now. I want to go and level up so I can equip that steel shield, but um, I was sure there was another shortcut. Give me the tips. Uh, that's the Chris Blade, so that's really good. That enhances your magic if you hold it in your hand, uh, in one hand, and then you have your magic catalyst in the other hand. Um, not only can it do damage like a sword, but it also makes your spells do more damage just by having it in your hand, which is really cool if you're planning on being like a spell sword kind of character. So you can have like a sword in your right hand and a little heckin' magic wand in the other hand and pew pew pew. It's cool. It's good. Um... Let's take a wee look. So it does piercing. I'm guessing that's the R2 does pierce damage. And the first one I think is blunt. Is it blunt? Yeah, blunt damage. We'll see. I don't know. I forget what the symbols mean. But it's got B scaling within, so it's meant to be it's meant to be for magic users. A small, ceremonial sword. Old runes are expertly chiselled into the blade. Used as an aid for incantations, the wielder's magic ability increases, though he or she will suffer more magic damage. Well, that's the, I mean, that's the side effect, of course. You do take more magic damage. Now, I can't remember if magic in this game covers, like, all magic, sorcery, fire, but it looks like going by the side there, we've got, like, magic defense and fire defense, so I would assume it's just magic. So something like the spider which does fire damage would probably be alright. Guys, tone down. Tone down. <laughs> oh man. Right, so this is the boss. Um, I don't want to do the boss. I want to level up. I want to get my new shield. Uh, is it? It's not this way. This is a shiny, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Can't quite remember where the shortcut is. <gasps> Spider stone, that makes a sticky weapon. And this is cool, because obviously some fog walls, you don't know if there's a boss there or not in like Dark Souls, but in this, you, it's definitely a boss. <laughs> you can see it. Um, but yeah, they made the fog a lot thicker uh, in Dark Souls 1. It, do I really have to run all this way? Probably rather just do the boss. Have a go of it with my... 80%, 30% shields. No, 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 of course, now that this is right. So our shortcut basically is uh, all this way, 
over here. Remember when I said logs before fogs? <laughs> it's over here. Do it, Aditya. Haunted white goods, as we call them. Do you guys have that, like, worldwide? Is that a worldwide term? White goods? Rage's defo pro. Pro it, chat and pish. Oh, I just rearranged my, my Pokemon foils. I want to see, Ball. I want to see. I want the strength. Give me the strength. I'm not going to get enough, am I? Oh my god, I got one point. Huh, it's fine. I've got some what I would call hard souls. So more so with dark souls, not so much with demon souls because you only have one currency. Um, but if it's down there in the bottom right and you lose it when you die, I'd call that soft. Uh, stuff you can potentially lose in a puddle when you die. Soft. So you can get soft souls, soft humanity in Dark Souls. Stuff that's in your inventory that you can pop at any time is hard. <laughs> I can't remember who I first heard use that term. That's just what I call it. Hard souls, hard humanity. Blah, blah, blah. blah. So we have some hard souls. Uh, we've got quite a lot, actually. Um... These obviously we're gonna keep and try and make them into cool things, but these ones are literally just for popping. But when it says soul of a demon, like the boss that you killed, don't pop them. Okay. Uh, use, and we have to use them one at a time. <gasps> Thousand souls, baby. So a quicker way of doing that would just to be to put them on your action bar. You can't put boss souls on your action bar. So that's a really ob obviously a safe way of doing it as well. Because you can't accidentally use a boss soul. Can we get enough strength? I'm guessing probably not. Hang on, was it 18 for the steel? I think it was 18. <gasps> okay, so. I struggled to figure out the Demon Souls UI as far as defense goes. So we've got damage reduction percent, 100%, which I assume is physical. But then I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure if then the slash thirty is for like is that magical? Is is it thirty when it's broken? Is it thirty? I d I don't know. But then you look at something like the flame shield, which I know for a fact is like super powerful against flame, and nothing changed. It's still thirty. So I don't. I do want to use all these souls. So let's just put them on to put them into. Let's go for 22. Let's just heck and do it. We'll go quality build. Right, okay, cool. By quality, I mean equal strength and dex. You get weapons that scale off both and then they end up being really, really powerful. Because if you have a weapon that has like B scaling or C scaling, more likely, in strength and dex, and you have like 40 strength and dex, that's a lot of extra scaling damage. We went over scaling a couple weeks ago, but it's basically like the more of a stat you have, and the better the scaling is, the more bonus damage you get. I'm just going to put more grass on here. Crescent half and some plate. And let's do the boss. Okay, cool. So iron armor spider, I should say. Armor spider, main things to know. Um, there's two ways of doing it. You can cheese it. If you stand at the left hand wall with either a bow or some magic, you can pretty much cheese just stand there and shoot it um i quite like fighting it in melee because it's a fun fight uh but i might die i'm gonna have one go at it hopefully we kill it if not we'll do it next week but um he's got a couple close range attacks i have one attack that i just i just block it and then i know uh when it's time to punish and then you sort of wait and see what he does and then react like i think that's the key with all the souls games it's waiting to see what happens, avoiding it, and then punishing. Because if you do it any other way, you're just going to get hit and die. But the only thing with this is, um, I'm planning on being like right up close to him, but he does do a big AoE that I need to run away from. And then it's the point where I'm back at the fog wall, running back to him. That, in my opinion, is the most dangerous part. So that's probably where I would die. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Let's go kill it. Let's kill it and then uh, we can we can... See what his soul says. Okay, we made it. We made it. Right, so we just sit and block. This shield is pretty good. Right. Block all the melee attacks. If you drop your shield, cool. When he does that, 
That's when we attack. Oh god. If you drop your shields, don't block all the time. Then your stuff is gonna regen. Um, okay, armor spider is just that. Very armored. So, uh, bloody hell, this is gonna take a while. Okay, when he does that, run. Like, run all the way back. All the way. It might look like it's not gonna hit you halfway, but it will. Okay. Okay, cool. I wonder what the dagger does. Dagger almost does more! <laughs> there we go, but be careful not to step to the side when he does that, because that stuff hits hard. Ugh. I've done so little damage! <sighs> Generous iframes, you think? I mean, you just don't have to level it up. I'm gonna make a mistake. That was odd for him to do that from over there. Strong. It's a battle of patience. Attrition, I'm guessing that's what attrition means. Shifty. I'm glad you have faith, but it's gonna take a while. I think we're gonna get a fireball here. <gasps> oh, I was on the floor, so it actually missed me. Cool, so now, oh, now I'm gonna get flying into the air. Now when he does that, I'm gonna heal instead of hit. Maybe get one hit. <laughs> Whoa, what is happening? <laughs> there must be a certain angle where you can just like go out of bounds with this heckin' spider. Oh! Oh! Attrition is a slow decay. Ah. Very, very slow. No, I'm not cheesing it, Gil. I don't have any range. Oh, 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 oh! Right, I got hit by the web there, which makes you so slow. But I was so close to him, thankfully, that we got away with it. I was very lucky. So sometimes running up is good. <laughs> Spiders surfing the web. <sighs> Every time he does this, I think, right, is this the time that's gonna kill me? I'm gonna heal up. Oh god, that might even be too close. Run to the hills! I always run too soon for that. Oh god, don't try and run! Don't try and roll! Just block it! Okay, we got away with that. We got away with that whole flip! Borrowed time here! The frame rate's terrible. Oh yeah, it's barely 30. Imagine doing this with one hand. No. No. 
I'll do the remake. <sighs> really? <laughs> that white stuff there. Uh, the web. So you know which attack the web is over the fireball because he shoots the fireballs from his mouth, but the web from his tail. So when he goes like up, you know it's gonna be web. So it's a late dodge. <sighs> Still got hit by it. It's fine. We're close enough. God bless this good shield. <laughs> Iron Jesus doesn't love you tonight. Ah! I would argue I've had some really lucky escapes, actually. Oh boy. That's actually dangerous how far away that knocks me because he could easily do a fireball. shield is yeah yeah I just there's loads of ways to play this game lots of cheesy ways to cheese the bosses but like I'd just like sword and board snakey if you're still there good night it's hard to read chat um but yes good luck tomorrow got it got the late dodge cool oh still fireballed me when I was if I was really on it I could probably have one hit after every slash, but I'm just keeping an eye on my stamina. Like, I could do that one hit. But this is what is called getting greedy when you start to be like, right, he's almost dead. And you start being a bit more reckless. <sighs> I have to answer the door and Rach is still alive. I'm disappointed. Heck off. Yeah, it's just taking a while, okay? It's just taking a while. I blocked every single one. <laughs> God bless the steel shields. If I'm confident, I'll roll, but I wasn't confident. So you just block. And this is it! Cool! It only took 12 years! <laughs> Shall obtain the demon soul! And we revived! We became human again! Time to die! So good! Uh, so that was a really good sort of like way of showing... <laughs> learning patterns an enemy tells is clearly cheating. I was literally halfway through saying that's a really good way of showing all of his attacks really really well sort of like choreographed the bit there at the end with the with the difference between the tail and the fireballs i didn't really know but now we do know so we got ourselves the hard demon's soul and a pure spider stone uh spooder stone is the best for pew pews uh-huh that is the technical term um this following level is what we'd call two 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 <laughs> alan rickman's answering machine um there's a lot of crystal lizards in that level. So we can hopefully level up some weapons, maybe. But for now, I must bid you adieu. I'm gonna put some points in, try and get 22 strength. Um, I have no idea what weapon I'm gonna use. My first playthrough, I used a winged spear, I believe. I upgraded it with quality path. Can't remember what that's called. Um, and the purple flame shield, because it's just so good. <laughs> Queen is a very good egg. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, 21, 20. Oh! oh! I'm five souls away. Oh! Have you guys ever been like one point away? One point of XP away from a level up? Oh. Alright, uh, so I'm gonna go to bed, eh? Should we die first? Just for fun. No, I'm gonna go to bed. We'll die later. Right, 